Hey you guys, it's me again. Um, <clears throat> I know my last video uh, was talking about Thanksgiving and um, I just want to say thank you and for you, um, if anyone is still out there really watching my videos, I hope you do. <clears throat> I'm still going to continue my Bible and um, I want to just basically talk about, you know, perspective about things that's going on. <clears throat> On this earth, we all should know what happened to Paris. Um, you know, uh, people have died, and um, you know, it's 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 shocking. It's kind of you know, sort of remind me of the World Trade Center, and um, you know, I love Paris. You know, um, I remember um, when I went to Paris when I was sixteen. Um, my mom took me and. Um, for my birthday and I wanted to go and she promised so you know I salute Paris and you know all the, the things that's been happening to them and and stuff so um so I'm just gonna try to review you know things about you know um things that's going on on this earth that people don't know or aware on what's going on um, with this world, um, we know that we're in Revelation, that's just, I'm just going to put this out there, we're almost to the end, now, <clears throat> the, I'm not saying, I don't know when that time comes, and whatever it is, um, whatever it is that, you know, when the end is, all I can say is, is that, the first thing you keep that in mind is that you start repenting. Do you know what repenting is? Repenting is, is that when you start praying, right? When you start praying, you, first thing that comes in your mind is say, My father, I have sinned. Father, I know I've done so many things that's not pleasing your sight. All these things you have to keep, you have to repent through your heart because of what you've done on this earth. Where you, you know, all according to your deeds means what, um, whatever, whatever that means I'm saying is, is that you sin. You know, it could be anything. It could be... When you committed adultery, you can, uh, any sort of idol, anything that you worship with idols, um, what else, um, you, you committed a murder, you know, um, anything that's, you know, according to Ten Commandments, which I don't know if anyone knows, but I think that you guys should know what Ten Commandments is, is, it's God. God's law, okay, you have to obey God's law, if you don't obey God's law, there's a penalty, right, there's a plea, right, so it's kind of like saying when you're, let's say if you're having, you kill someone for the first, first time, and you, com you committed a murder, that's that's your your plea guard uh plea um your your plea guilty because you committed you committed murder right it's the same way when you face judgment it's the same way according to here on this earth you still have to face judgment according to your your deeds your whatever issues that you have that you still have to face and many a lot of people think that there's that they that that they're innocent wrong you can you can say that you're innocent or you or you're not okay that's just a pit of lies I'm just I'm just gonna put this out there okay um I have sinned, my husband has sinned, my mother has sinned, my father has sinned, my best friend has sinned, co-workers have sinned, everything above on this earth have sinned.
Even even Barack Obama have sinned. So there are, you know, sometimes it, we don't know about anybody's closed doors, but everyone has sinned, okay? Besides besides the children and the babies, the innocent because they don't they don't know. They don't they don't know. You know, they don't know, um, like, what we see, they can't see. So, they're very pure and innocent. They're very pure and innocent. It means that they never sinned, okay? So, okay, so, I'm just playing this out that Revelations is nearing, okay, you guys? I'm just going to put this out there. So, you guys are aware that... Yes, it is a very time in year, and it's scary and it's fearing, but the first thing you should do is ask God that, ask God for, for forgiveness. Ask God, like in Matthews, if I'm, hmm, let me see if I can find Matthews, is it Mark? I think it's Mark. When you ask God, it says right here from Luke, <clears throat> Luke 10 through 11, it says from uh, verses 9, I'm, I'm going to repeat this again, Luke 10 through 11, verses 9, it says, So I said to you, as and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, he who sees finds, and to him who knocks the door will be open will, will be open. Which of you if your sons asked for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then Though you are evil, now how to give good gifts to your children? How much more will your Father, Heaven, give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? Now, you got to read Luke 10 through 11, verses, yes, verses 9. It is it explains it what it says. And I have it, I don't know if you can see, but this is it's right there. Where I have it lined it, that's that's what it says. And you should definitely read this. Now, when I explain about the revelations, since we're in time of near and the things are going on with the wars and rumors and things like that, now I'm gonna read this to you. Okay, and this is in, let's see, hold on, give me a minute. Sometimes I, I just had it, and then one minute, and then like, um, Matthews 24. Okay, now, this one, it says, I don't know if you can see, it says, it says, sign, sign of the end of the age, 24, it says, Jesus left the temple and was walked away when his disciples came up to him to call his attention to its buildings. Do you, do you see all these things? I tell you the truth. Not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. As Jesus, as Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, tell us, they said, 
When will this happen and what will be the signs of your coming and the end, end of the end of age? Jesus says, Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Christ, and will deceive many. You will hear of wars I'm sorry. <laughs> wars and rumors of wars. I want to repeat this again. For many will come in the name of claiming I am the Christ and will deceive many. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. But see to it that you are not alarmed. Did you hear that clearly? It said it said you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen. But the end is still to come. Nations will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these things are beginning of birth pains. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted, and you will end put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people because of the increase of wickedness. The love of most will grow cold. But he, will, but he who stands firm to the end will be saved. As long as you believe, you'll be saved. You have to trust and believe in the Lord because if you can't, this is what's going to happen to you. <clears throat> and this gospel of the kingdom you'll be preached in the whole world as as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come so when you see the standing in the holy place the abomination that causes desolation spoken of through the prophet daniel let the reader understand, then let those who are Judy flee to the mountains. Let no one on the roof of his house go down to take anything out of the house. Let no one in the field go back to get his cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great distress unequal from the beginning of the world until now and never to be equaled again. If those days have not been cut short, no one will survive. But for those... but. For the sake of elect, those days will be shortened. At the time, if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there he is, do not believe it. For false Christ, false prophet. Now, everyone is going to get fooled. Because there is going to be a such false prophet, false Christ. So, I'm telling you now, and it's a warning, do not, I repeat. Do not believe in that thing. It does says on here, and it says right here, there he is. Do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophet, prophet will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even elect. If that were possible, see, I have told you ahead of time. This is what it says. So if anyone tells you that he, there he is out of the desert, do not go out 
or he is in the inner room, do not believe it. For the light, for the lightning that comes from the east and visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the, ver the vultures will gather immediately after the stress of those days. Now, you, there's our signs are here, and, and I wrote this down. Sign of warning. Don't believe this. Be warned. This is the part when I was telling you about the false prophet and all that. It means don't believe this. Be warned. It means be warned when once the Antichrist and the false prophet do not believe it because you will be fooled. I'm telling you now. Signs of warnings. Now, there's going to be signs. There's going to be signs. And it says, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heaven bodies will be shaken. At that, at that time, the signs of sons of men will appear in the sky and all the nations of the earth will mourn. Now, do you know what this is? That means is that that's when you know the day and the hour unknown, which I'll explain that to you the next the next video. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with powers and great glory, and he will send his angels with loud trumpet calls, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. Now Learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves comes out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. I'll tell you the truth. This generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Now, I love that in part because me and my husband love this part. But it's just explaining that there are warnings. And there are warnings, there are signs, there are speculative rumors about, like I said, um, about the ISIS. Um, a lot of things is going on with uh, Israelites. You know, Israelites is the son of God's eye is the, you know, you know, God sees Israel. That's his, you know, protection. And ISIS wants to attack uh, Israelites. But it's, it's, it has, I mean, like I said, everything has been for, uh, 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 fulfilled and prophesied. And everything that says here, some of them is prophesied, but it's getting soon. So there is going to be a war. And there is. It's going to happen. And no one can't. I mean, no one can't stop it. Because in this words, these words are truth. This is the word that God sent us to understand what is going to happen. So we have to be aware of what's going on with these things. And, you know, and the first thing you should be doing is pray. That's what you be doing is pray, repent, do it now. Don't wait till later because if you wait till later, there's going to be problems after that and it'll be too late. I mean, I don't think it will be too late, but you still have, you still have to start repenting. You know what I'm saying? But don't wait till later. You should start now. That's, that's just end of it, you know? And I recommend you to read Mark 24. And I'm going to read the next one, it, um, uh, the day and the hour unknown, That's, that will be explained in the next video. So please, if you want to want me to reread everything about the Genesis, um, to Revelations, to Matthews, Daniels, um, you know, from Mark to, you know, all these different things, I will love to read. And, um... Because God, you know, I feel the spirit because God is just talking through me. So it's, it's just pretty much says. But at the end, 
you should definitely read Mark 24 because there is warnings and signs. And, there, and, and, and if you read the revelations, there are signs too. So like I said, they always hint and clues. So you have to read this because this is important. If you're not aware what's going on, you're not prepared. So I'm just su suggest you to read it because that's it is a good thing to know and aware in your spirit so you know okay I gotta I gotta start repenting I gotta start praying I gotta read my Bible every day and night so you know I recommend you to subscribe now and you know I'm gonna continue reading my you know my Bible and you know I'm I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do other things you know like makeup and all that. But still, God comes first. You got to remember, God comes first. So, all right, you guys. Um, I'm really glad that you're listening to, to my scripture. And I hope you have a great day. Amen.